So, it's still pretty cold out there, but it's almost 50 today, so that's nice. Uh, the ground is starting to warm up. It's still a little wet out there because uh, we got rain on the forecast, so I don't think I'll start any tillage. The ground is still wet out there, so we can't really get in the field yet, but I think I want to put up a building. I would like to go borrow Grant's bulldozer. He always said we can use it. Just go pick it up and bring it over so we can clear out some ground to put a few buildings in. So let's get to it. Hey, what's up, Austin? Hey, nothing much. Uh, I was calling to just see, is your truck and trailer available? Oh, yeah? Which one? Okay. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of just need one to go pick something up from the dealership. Well, I just went under contract with a Mack truck, so you can uh, use one of my new Anthems if you want. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah, they're pretty nice. Yeah, sure. If, if that's okay with you, I'd love to. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, just come by the dealership down there. I have one hooked up to a trailer. I just used it the other today. All right, perfect. I'll be down there in a little bit. All right, see you then. See ya. So you heard him. Austin's going to come down here. So we're going to go meet him so he can grab our truck there quickly. Uh, so one, I need to put this uh, blower away. I need to get a uh, box in for that because we need to have need it to help put in a couple buildings over here so I plan on building a few buildings over there right by where our uh, pig pig barn is over there uh, I want to put a breeding barn in and also a cold storage uh, shed let's go down to our dealer meet uh, Austin there quickly so Austin said he was on the way so we're waiting for him to get here uh, he wants to borrow one of our new trucks. Maybe we can sell him one of our new trucks. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that might be out of his budget right now, but it'd be kind of nice if we could sell one of these right away and kind of seal the deal for our Mack truck contract we have going. Uh, should That trailer should work nicely for him, hopefully. We we'll also need to take our excavator over there to help uh, dig out a foundation for our new shed in our barn that we have building. So I need to find where I left my uh, skid steer bucket at. Oh, there it is. So there it is. So I can, uh, I'll have to come down here, put the blower in, hook up the bucket. Oh, looks like uh, Austin just showed up here. So he's pulling up here. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Oh, man. Does he have the exact same truck? Pretty close. Looks like we have some off-road tires. He doesn't. Hey, Austin, what's up? Oh, nothing much. So where's this, uh, where's this truck and trailer? Oh, it's right over here. It's, All right. Let's just go through these uh, trees here. Ooh, that's a fancy rake you got. Yeah, it's huge. A little bit too big for my operation, oh, but kind of got a deal for all my when I bought my balers, they kind of threw that rake in. Wow, uh, we, me and Jake might need to borrow that if you're not using it this lot this year. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use it much this year because most of my grass I'm gonna end up tilling up to feed my pigs. Huh? Yeah, we might actually need to borrow this because yeah, this uh, this would help out a lot because we got a really small rake. Yeah, that thing's giant. Wow, that's impressive. So here's our uh, Mack truck here. So it's already hooked right. onto the trailer. So pretty wow, nice. Wow, this thing's this thing's impressive. Wow. Yep. Just went under you contract. Buy, you didn't buy this, did you? Nope. Uh, just uh, Mack is kind of seeing seeing if there's any uh, interest to their new trucks around here. So they gave me two trucks to try to sell. Hmm. Wow. I don't know if I'd ever need anything like this, but this is impressive. Yep. So, so uh, this is a trailer? Yep. Trailer has a full down ramp that's also used as the back end. So you, if your All right. implement holds over the side here, it can also 
just fold up. Yeah, I, I hope it doesn't, um, when we're loading it up. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to buy it yet, but I'm pretty sure I am. But I hope it uh, fits on here. It should. Yeah. I mean, it might not. It's not <laughs> the knows? widest trailer, so you might have to take it down the road nice and slow, but it's yeah, a nice trailer. Yeah, probably. I mean, if it doesn't fit, if you're okay with it, I might need to come back for this low boy. Yeah, you can borrow the low boy, too. All right. Well, I think it should fit, but if it doesn't, then that might be the case. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to get going here because I got a lot of stuff to do today. All right. So I appreciate I appreciate uh, you letting me use this trailer for sure. No problem. All right. I'll talk to you later, man. Later. Okay. We'll run up here and grab our kid steer so we can get the bucket put on it so we can uh, help build these buildings. Jump over the fence like Duke. The Duke boys. All right, started right up nicely. So this kid steer, it's not gonna break no land speed lackers, that's for sure. So we're gonna try to go down. I think beans it goes so slow, I'm gonna try to cut through my uh, trees here with it. There we go, I think I can just uh, fit right through in between these uh, two buildings. There we go, nicely. Make sure we don't hit Austin's truck there. Alright, man. There we go, open this door up. All right, we unhook the blower. I'm gonna hook this up. There we go. So I will just uh, drive this over to our other farmyard. It'll take a little while, but it's not worth really putting on a trailer. Not too far. All right, now we're here. Shut this off. So the plan is to try to put some type of building right in here. So don't really know exactly what I want yet, but we'll put some cold storage shed. But the goal is to put a few buildings down. So I'm gonna put a uh, big cold storage here, probably another shop over here, and then we're gonna have our breeding barn. So three total buildings and then we're gonna clean up this area a little bit so that's why we are borrowing uh, squads or that's why we're borrowing Grant's uh, bulldozer because we need to level this all out it's pretty level now but it, it needs to be perfectly level before we start so I'm gonna run back get our other uh, Mack truck and put it on our low boy start this beautiful truck up so hopefully uh mac they don't notice these extra miles being put on these trucks uh don't think they'd be too happy about that but uh i need to test them out so i know what i'm selling right that's what i'm least gonna tell them so we'll take this over hook it up to our low boy run over to grant's house and uh hopefully get his uh bulldozer put on it. I'm hoping this low boy will fit his giant bulldozer he has. Man, I turned the wrong way. Now we gotta do a Yui, head back over here. So I turned the wrong direction. After I got the low boy. So Grant's house is just right on the other side of that tower over there. Go. Man, this truck's pulling this nicely. So we probably could have just drove his uh, bulldozer over here, but the things go really slow, so it's probably way quicker of an operation just to go get the trailer. Man, Grant's house is just so tall. Look how high that his house is. We will run over here. Let's see where? Oh, 
Where did he park his bulldozer at? Oh, there it is. Looks like he has an excavator just like I do. All right, we got our trailer unhitched there. Now let's see if this thing will start up. Man, this is, he must have upgraded. This thing is nice. I don't remember him having, his other one I don't think was this nice. Oh, look at this. Got hand controls in there. This thing is nice. Grant, he does have some money over here, that's for sure. And he even shows you uh, the ground surface level. It's kind of nice. Low boy can easily fit this. There, that's nice. I think that's about even. Hook this all up again. All right. So already got it all trailered. Head over there. We just need to get our excavator over there. Start digging some of the foundation after we get it all leveled out. We'd be good to start erecting our building. Man, is that bulldozer heavy. You can really feel it on the back of this uh, trailer. Truck is struggling a little bit going up these hills. So our farm is just right on the other side of Grant's field here. And on the other side of his corn. Now that we're pulling up here, we want a nice flat surface to uh, detrailer this bulldozer. Looks like right beside our uh, pig barn here. That should be out of the way. All right, we'll shut that truck off. Uh, I think I'll just run back and get our uh, excavator there quickly, and then we will be ready to start. All right, we're just pulling in our with our excavator here. Pull that. And we got that over there. So now we just need to basically just scrape off this dirt. So the sod, the excavator do nicely doing that. So we'll just scrape it all off. Uh, do the same over here and then uh, flatten it nice and flat. Being he has GPS uh, guidance there with one inch freaking differential, we can basically make a super flat area with hardly any freaking uh, any work trying to get it that way. We're backing it up over here. So we are going to start right over here. So we're basically going to be uh, creating, we're basically going to be taking the top layer of sod off of here so we can uh, make it nice and flat. Put down. So we're going along scraping here, scraping off as much dirt as possible. Trying to make this nice and flat. Gonna go right, keep going. Man, this thing really rolls the coal. Look at that thing. Good thing I brought my uh, Red Bull and Coke in here with me. Makes it nice and easy with this uh, guidance it has here. All right, so we push this whole mound over here up. So level this off nicely here. So now we just have to keep going. So I'm gonna have to go a little bit closer here to the trees and I'm gonna level this all off, push all this over here and then uh, probably just either uh, push this back, everything that, all the sod and everything or uh, just uh, get rid of it with one of our other, uh, with our, uh, or otherwise haul it. I might need some of this dirt over there because it kind of looks like I would like to raise this slightly so it stays in line so Squad's field or Grant's field right here doesn't, the water don't run off and uh, make our uh, farmyard over here nice and slushy. So I would like to raise this building a little bit higher when we start leveling that. 
let's get to do work on that. All right, so we got this all done over here, so took us a while, that's for sure. So we pushed up most of the dirt and all the sod, made it nice and flat, as flat as we could possibly make it. So we could just put a building down right here. So this is, plan on putting a small uh, shop over here and then a breeder building over there. So now we're gonna hop across the street. I would like to raise this up slightly and then, so we don't get runoff and then put a big storage shed right here. All right, so we're just finishing up this right here. Uh, just leveled all this off. We did steal some of the dirt from the other side there, moved it over here. Uh, we do have a little bit of extra dirt here. I think I might do a little bit more uh, raising of this. I don't know, maybe we're good. So we have a little bit of lip. We might have to put some gravel down just so it doesn't get nice and muddy and stuff. But otherwise, I think we got this all leveled out. Good to go. We got this all leveled out. So now all we need to do is get our building set.
Every night I'm going on the grid texting back I want you, hit you up I'm on the other side I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came me way to strong Cannot keep it low key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Alright, so we're gonna have to leave this big mound of dirt right there Got a little spare dirt, maybe we'll find, we'll uh, haul that off later on but we got everything built up here so we got a uh, we ended up moving an old shed here so I decided to go with that shed we got it off of another farm here and we built uh, a smaller little uh, shop here so this has a lift in it so this is kind of a secondary shop that is by far over here that's my favorite shop uh, we did We got a breeding shed here for breeding our baby pigs so I Really like the place. I really cleaned up a lot of the place around uh, It was kind of all too much rock for me. Let's just say so I cleaned it up think it looks nice now you guys will have to let me know if I did a good job or not but thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa. Your taste is really a bad reception out there. Where are you heading? Why in gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now. I've lost you. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time.